Hello, welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama medal puzzle, which means I'm going to give you the series of different moves that you need to do to separate that little copper ring from the two medals and then how you can reverse all those moves, use the holes, go around the medals and put it back into its original position. Now the medal puzzle is a level 2 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and a level 6 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the medal puzzle for yourself, then you can pick it up from our website at puzzlemaster.ca. And without further ado, let's get on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled medal puzzle. And obviously our aim is to separate this ring from, well, essentially from this medal, but eventually we have to, we have to connect it to both medals before we actually do that. So essentially our aim is just to get this separate from the medals. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to be, our focus is going to be usually on one medal at a time. Now, I'm going to try and orientate them in a way where we stay in the same place the whole time. So I'm going to try and keep this smaller hoop, the one that connects the two medals together, that's going to stay at the top of the video as much as it possibly can, okay? So the first thing we need to do is, first of all, unhook the ring and bring it out to the left-hand side. And all we need to do is just leave it around this area, so that's in some place and then all we're going to do is flip over to the opposite medal and now what we need to do is we need to put the medals back to back and at the same time that we put them back to back we need to connect the ring to this medal at the same time so again it's around this position and then all we do is slide on from there now this can be quite a stiff position it can be quite tough to get it in position but if you do find that it gets stiff, just play around with sort of moving the top medal and you should be able to sort of work your way around. And when you're connected, we want to work our way around this medal all the way until we're over in this section or this place over here. And to do that, we can sort of come from the start up to this corner without any problems whatsoever. But now we have to get around this part of the metal. So just to the right hand side of the connecting ring. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the back metal sort of resting on our hands in this position. And we're going to push the, the top metal to the right hand side until the ring can go around that edge. And then all we're going to do is bring them back together in this position in here. Once we're in this position, we're then gonna pass the bigger ring over the top of the smaller ring. I'm just gonna swap hands so it's easier to move around. And then we're gonna keep on going until we hit this sort of sticking point now. And some, we're gonna get around it in the same way that we got around this part in here. So we're gonna push it out, keep the back metal still, we're gonna push the top metal out to the left hand side this time. And then once we get around it, we push the metals back together until we end up in this position over here. So once we're in this position, we're then going to flip over to the opposite side and you will find that you are actually at the gap at which we need to separate from this top metal as we're looking at it now. So we separate the ring from that metal. We can unflip those now. We, they are going to be separate for the whole rest of the time. And we're then going to turn our focus back to this metal, the metal with the holes in it. And we're now going to be using these holes to move this ring around and eventually separate it out of this gap in here. So first of all, we're going to come, well, we you've got two ways of doing this. You can either, there is room to sort of fit around this corner in this position. Uh, but it can be a little bit easier to sort of to bring it to this side first and then sort of come into that position. Either way, they're both quite tight, but yeah, whichever is personally preferenced to you. Once you've come into the puzzle, I've skipped a few steps there, we're going to then come into this uh, hole in here and we're going to connect the ring in this position here. We're then going to move it to the left in this position in here. Once we're here, we're going to put the, the top side, we're going to move that to the right hand side in here. 
And then we're going to move from this hole just up slightly to this hole. Now we do need to be in this hole, but unfortunately we can't get around this corner on that metal. So we need to come to this part first and then bring the opposite side up to that top hole. And from here, we are then going to be able to separate the ring to start with off here. Now again, this position here can be quite tight. You can sort of force your way out of that, but if you don't want to force your way out of that, all you have to do is flip it over and then separate the ring from there. And that is how we disassemble the metal puzzle. And to reassemble the metal, we are gonna do it in much the same way. So we're gonna reverse all the moves that we have just done. And the first of which that we need to do is to connect this ring back down in this position and get it through all those holes to get to that position. I'm gonna do it in terms of orientation in the same way. The, the connecting ring between the metals is always gonna be at the top of the screen as we're looking at it here. And to start with, what we need to do is we need to connect the ring in this position in here. Now for me, I find it a little bit more helpful if we make sure we're in this gap when we're connecting, rather than being out here and then having to work around this corner. For me, it just makes it, it, just makes it a little bit easier given the dimensions of, of my metal puzzle. Once we're in here, we're then gonna fully connect the ring once we get around this corner and we're gonna turn it all the way around to this position in here. We're then gonna bring that top position, that top side of the ring down to this position. And then we're gonna move down one on the left hand side into here. And then I'm gonna move up on the right hand side. And that enables us to get to the very bottom hole in this position. And it's in this place here that we can separate out and again, you can get around that corner in there if you want to from this position, but it's a little bit easier and less tight if you just come out this way instead. So come out of that hole and then come around that corner. Once you're out, we wanna bring the ring to around this position. You don't need to be too precise, but now we need to put those metals back together. And it's gonna be easier to do that if we focus on the other side. So we're gonna turn that metal over and we're gonna maneuver the ring to a position in which when the metals are back to back we're then going to connect or reconnect to the uh, to the, the metal with a fish on it in this position now for the next move we need to make sure that this doesn't reverse itself and come out of this ring so don't just connect and then flip over to the other side try and get it up as far as you can it's not going to go too far we want to be around here but try and bring it on so that there's less chance of it falling out when we do the next move. And the next move is to go around this part of this top metal with the holes in it. So, and to do that, we're gonna keep the back metal still and we're gonna move the uh, the top metal out to the left-hand side. Once you've got it out, uh, you've separated it far enough, you're then gonna be able to go around that and bring the metals back together. Then we're gonna go over the top of the smaller connecting ring into this position. And now we need to get back around this uh, blocking point here. So we're gonna keep the back metal still. We're gonna move the, uh, the top metal out to the right hand side this time until we can get to a point at which we go around. And once we've got around it, we can bring it back together. So that they are back laying back to back. And once we've done that, we can then well, essentially, it's slide our way off of this top metal. Once we come out of there, we can then get rid of that metal because we don't need that one anymore. We can flip back to the first metal and we just have the simple task of reconnecting it through the hoop just above the fish. And that is how we reassemble the metal puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the metal puzzle. It's a personal favorite of mine, I really like this one. I like the variety of, of different moves that are in it. I like the, the fact that it goes back to back and then separates, and that the holes you don't use for the first part of the disassembly or the second half of the reassembly. And then, yeah, just the variety in such a diverse puzzle is, I really like it.
And hopefully this has helped you solve the metal puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the metal puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. Until next time, I'll see you later.